Hey guys, I finished an album that I've been working on for um, a swap I'm in at um, my scrapbookroom.ning.com and it's a fall themed mini and mine are um, uh, paper bags or the treat bags or whatever party bags or whatever they're called. So, um, anyway, this is it, and it says apple picking, there's a little scarecrow, some leaves, something else I did, but uh, which I normally don't do, but I started doing it because I, I think it adds something. So, I put all these fibers, tool, and stuff on, I have a charm that I made here with um, it's actually on one of those fishing lure clips I don't know if you can see that right there um, and then there's a button leaf a rusty star that I um, put a hole in um, one of these coins that I had uh, bought at Michael's um, a gear and a sunflower I guess that is and then here's the back so I tried to keep it all in this theme of fall and I want to try and get this in before my son and husband come home so this is the inside cover and I used um, the Hidden Hinge system from Kathy Orta, so you guys can go over and check her out. But I added this scarecrow here and this paper. Most of these papers came from a DCWB stack, The Four Seasons. And then some of them I just bought singly when they were on sale. So... Here's, um, this came in a really big stack I got at a long stack. It's, uh, like 24 by 12 stack, and I got it at, um, Marshall's when I was in Florida last year. And then I put this, this is a working frame. I mean, a working, so you can put your pictures in under here. And then here's this mat, and the bags are green. And then there's this page, it has some dragonflies. There's um, the evergreens, um, a handmade flower that I made, this belly band, and the button there. And then there's this page. You see the shimmer on that flower there, couple buttons, this apple that I cut out, nothing on the back, nice place for a photo, um, then here's the mat here, and they're stamped on the end edges, here's a this one also has a stamp, and then there's some doodling, if you can see that. And then there's this page right here. And um, this fall uh, leaf thing there. And then there's this um, photo spot this one that you can slide a picture in and then these you can journal on. Jeez, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video to explain what what uh, I've been working on here. So uh, I get I'm getting like tongue tied like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about so. And then this says beautiful, and you can slide a picture up under there. And I like this. There's birds there. And then there is this mat. All the mats are the same, except 
the stamp stamping on it is different. This one says fall and this does have that pumpkin there. So then you get to this page and I got this in a rack from this envelope from someone and it, you can slide a picture in behind it. You can untie it and there's a little um, card inside the envelope which I'm not going to take out. Um, this one you can put a picture in. Um, this is paper clipped so then it says a uh, pile of leaves and I got this from the same person that I got the envelope on the other page and then this is also working and then here's the bottom and I made this pleated. I don't have any more of this ribbon. I really like like that ribbon. And then you have to turn it this this way and there's um, this placemat and then that's the one that you just seen. That's how it goes. And then inside is this squirrels all over. Well, maybe it goes this way. And then there's a pumpkin there. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. And then there's um, the, oh, this page here, and you can slide a picture in under that band. And then here's this one, and this is a pocket. And then here's that mat. And then here's the back. And you can put a picture in under there. And here's this page. And this mat for this pocket. And then the back. So... Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you with my next video.